All right, Shalom. First and foremost of all, praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. The Barnes, the Apostles, the Great Millstone, were teaching us the warm and truth according to Bible real well. And peace and blessings still afflict of the nation of Israel, take through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shema Shai. We'll get into a Lord's one and edifying lesson. You know, today's lesson is going to be titled Unawares. You now I got Unawares pulled up here in the blue leather. And it says unexpected, suddenly, right? Or unforeseen. And with these evils that are coming upon the earth, you know, for the majority of the world, for the majority, you know, more importantly, for the majority of so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, they are unforeseen. All right, you, you, our people are, are not expecting, you know, these uh, oh, woes to come to Babylon the Great. Our people are not expecting these famines, these pestilences, right? And if they are expecting it, if they are, you know, they can feel in their gut that something um, bad is going to happen. They don't believe it's going to happen anytime soon, 5, 10, maybe 20 years from now. You know, when the world has changed uh, drastically, but the world can change ever so drastically in a moment when suddenly it can change, unexpectedly it can change, right? And that's what we're here to warn our people about, that if you don't watch as well as pray to Yah by Shema Shah, watch for the prophecies, you know, if you don't do the things, uh, you know, repent, turn back to the Lord this day. The day of Yahweh by Shema Shah, the day when these judgments, these plagues will befall the world, they're going to come upon you unexpectedly, unaware, right? This is St. Luke 21 and 34. It says, take heed, right? So that's what Yahweh by Shema Shah is telling us to do. Yahweh by Shema Shah is telling us to take heed, right? When you take heed to to instructions that means you actually hear the instructions and you follow them right so take heed to yourselves right and that's what we're doing we're taking heed to what we're saying at least at any time right to avoid the risk of right at any time our hearts meaning our minds be overcharged with surfeiting right surfeiting is the excess you know is that feeling of hangover you know uh, after drinking too much wine, right? And that's, you know, what Jake is feeling. They have not, uh, the wine of Babylon, right? They have not sobered up. They're still hung over, right? And you see that, how they carry themselves in their actions, even though they might say, yeah, I believe in the Lord. Yeah, I believe that the Lord is going to come back, right? But their actions, the way they're conducting themselves, the way they carry themselves, you know, is complete opposite to that, right? Having 10-year plans, 15-year plans, 5-year plans, right? Yahweh by Shema Shai, you know, getting right with your God, that should be your plan, right? That should be your your purpose, you see? And everything else should, re should revolve around that. This is St. Luke 21, 34. It says and drunkenness and cares of this life so that day come and so that day come upon you unaware so you having you know care for this life you know you caring so much about your status you know your position in this life you know you know the possessions you know things you might have you see the day of Yahweh by Shema Shai it's going to come upon you unawares because right now this rat race, you know, is, you know, heating up. It's even harder to keep up with the rise of inflation. It's even harder the uh, rise of uh, living situations, right? So what? You got to grind more. You got to work more. You got to pick up a second job. You got to do this. You got to do so many things. You got to start a business. You got to do so many things just to keep up with this American dream, right, that our people trust in. And Yahweh Shema Shai is telling us to forsake those things, right? It says, for as a snare, right? And a snare is a trap. So for as as a trap, the day of the Lord, the day of Yahweh Shema Shai is going to come upon 
the whole earth right the day of the lord says for as a trap for as a snare shall it come upon all of them that dwell upon the face of the earth the change of this monetary system right the change in how uh people buy and how people uh, uh deal with merchandise and sell things right Tr buying and trading buying and selling all of these things are going to change in the near future and it's going to change you know not only you know these are the rumors right that were uh digital right but it's going to be a subthermal device it's going to be a device that is under under that heat of your uh, under the heat of your skin right that's where it's going to be placed a micro right c hip right and, and you can put the word together right because you know they they flag videos they they take down channels first all for speaking the truth of what's coming right but yahweh by shema Shah has commanded us to warn our people to give them warning right so for as a snare shall it come upon all of them that dwell on the face of the whole earth watch ye therefore so we gotta watch therefore watch knowing that these things are coming to pass watch right measure the time know how to conduct yourself get your mind ready get your mind right for when Yahweh Shai will begin to visit when Yahweh Shema Shai will begin to visit the world which he made right it says Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all those things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man, right? So you want to be able to stand before, you know, Yahweh Shai. You want to be able to uh, be on the, uh, the side of the Lord when he returns, you know, those faithful and good servants that were watching, that were praying, that were, uh, uh, you know, Making sure that they were in order for when Yahweh Shai came back. This is um, Matthew's, you know, Matthew's 24 and 36. But of that day and hour knoweth no man, right? No, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. So we don't know when the Lord's coming back, so we gotta watch. But as the days of Noah were, right, these are more signs right but as the days of noah were that we should be looking for so shall also the coming of the son of man be for as in the days that were before the flood they were eating and drinking right continue on with life eating and drinking all they worry about you know is food and excess and you know uh, feeding their families and and uh, you know supplying food for their you know, sub, uh, getting the substance needed to survive, right? All of these things, resources, money. That's all Jake is really worried about. It says, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, right? A marriage, you know, is the purpose of getting married is to have children, to pass down, you know, your, 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 your heritage. What, they, what are they calling it nowadays? Generational wealth right every you got you should focus on generational wealth right that's what everyone is talking about you know oh million be a millionaire make 15 20 30 30 million 40 million 50 million if you want to make a hundred million dollars you should make you should you should have a goal to make a hundred million dollars by the time you're 30 35 you know that that's what's being pushed it says 39 verse 39 and knew not until the flood came and took them all away right they didn't know that noah was telling them the truth until that flood came until the words of, of yahweh by shema Shai came to pass it says and knew not until the flood came and took them all away so shall also the coming of the son of man be all right so in like manner it's going to be the same situation when Yahweh Shai returns. People aren't going to be listening. People aren't going to know what the hell is going on. People are going to be ignorant of the signs of Yahweh Shai's return. Jumping down to verse uh, 42. 
it says, um, 30, uh, I'll just keep reading. It, it says, then shall two be in the field, one shall be taken, and the other left. The one that's going to be taken is the, is the elect. The one that was watching, the one that was praying, right? The one that was repenting, right? And the other one that was left, it was the one that had their mind in the world. Two women shall be grinding at the meal, one shall be taken, and the other left. So both men and women of the nation of Israel are going to be delivered during these times, right? It says, Watch ye therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord does come, right? So we don't know when Yahweh Shah is going to come. So we have to watch, we have to pray, right? And, and, and continue, you know, uh, uh, to make sure we're doing that which is right in the eyes of Yahweh by Shema Washai, right? Because we don't want this day to come unexpectedly, right? And we see what's going on, you know, they're starting to reintroduce, you know, certain, you know, uh, uh, certain things, you know, that are very relatable. You know, to you know the two o two o situation, right? Putting people are putting their mustaches back on, right? Or their muzzles? They're putting those back on. They're putting, you know, and 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 and, and, and these things are in, in school, right? 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 Ready for kids to go back to school, college kids to go back to school, everything, right? So this is all this is all a trap being laid by Yah by Shimao Shai. Right? And we're and we're gonna see how this thing unfolds. And, and we are very close to the return of our Lord. So Lord with that, Lord's when you edify it's the next time I'm gonna say Shalom.